we're going to a friend's house. So they said, can you bring a salad? So I was like, sure. So I went in my fridge and I had blood orange, regular orange, and some fresh dill and a little feta. Then I roasted in the oven these golden beets, which we're just gonna peel. So the beets came out probably around 10 minutes ago. It was just olive oil, salt, and pepper. And I put them on the middle rack, wrapped in foil. They're probably in for a little bit over an hour. I wanted them super tender. Then what I'm doing is I'm just riding my paring knife. You see that? See how the skin's coming off? I'm not taking any beat with it. Just literally scraping off the skin. Um, some people say don't add salt when you're roasting them. I do! Because I think it makes a big difference. So look at that beautiful beet right there. Just setting it on the plate. And keep peeling your beets until you're all done. Then we'll move on to the orange. So you're gonna cut the bottom and the top. You wanna ride your knife along the rind, all the way down, finish. Continue all the way down. Here we go. Oh, the juices. So, the part that's bitter in an orange or a grapefruit or any kind of citrus is the white rind. So we wanna get the sweet part, and that is by going inside. I use a paring knife. Just clean this up real quick and then I'll show you how to get the outside. You want to do this over a bowl. Why? Because you want the juice that's going to be left over here to help make us our vinaigrette. So if you look at the oranges, they have little segments, okay? So we're going to get the segment out. So you're going to take your paring knife, you're going to go down one side, you're going to go down the other side of the segment, and then you're going to pop it out. So, here you go. There's your segment. So you're going to put that on the side. So same thing, you're gonna go all the way around the orange, and then come out real gentle. See that? So, you're gonna do the whole orange, I'll show you the blood orange as well. And then, when we're at the end, the reason I'm just putting them on the side is because we're gonna use them on the plate. You're gonna squeeze the living crap out of the pulp that's left here into this bowl, because it's gonna help make a vinaigrette to go on top of the beets. Got my last Supreme. Take that orange, just look at that. I know it's a little gross. You might not want to squeeze it, but okay. This, basura. So blood oranges are probably one of my favorite pieces of fruit. I look forward to them all year. I love the color. I love the flavor. I can make a kick-ass martini with blood orange. I can make, tea. oh, oh, Casa Amigos, um, fresh blood orange juice squeezed. Then you burnt one of the rinds, put it on in, club soda. Sick, so good. So same concept, this is a very juicy orange. You're going to go all the way around. Watch your fingers. If you don't feel comfortable with the big knife, use your paring knife. And this is just gonna give you such a beautiful color on the plate. So, put your paring knife, do the same thing. A little smaller, look at that. I'm gonna put those on the side so we can plate up this salad. Woo! Ah! I'm eating more of the orange than I'm making it. Whatever's left, same thing. Okay. Um, I have to clean this up. Um, but we have the juice, we're gonna make the vinaigrette. Okay, so here's our juice from the oranges. I'm gonna add around a quarter cup of just white champagne vinegar, a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. Then we're gonna take a little bit of this fresh dill, rip it where the stem is, and we're going to Really chop it up. Make sure you pull the stem on out. Really chop it up. It's a light vinaigrette. I mean, you really can't go wrong here. You really want to doll it up and add a little mustard. You can. I wouldn't. Chop up your dill. Put it in. Okay. I'm going to leave this to the side for a sec. And now we're going to take our beets. Paring knife. Just so you can see I have a plate here. We're gonna cut these nice and long and in circles that are nice and even. So, you just see, I kind of cut them. There's two pieces, see that? So we're gonna line them up here until we get our platter. I'm gonna get a nice colorful platter. I think I have a blue one. Um, now, 
if I had red beets and they would have been so pretty and colorful. Also another trick, cut the beet round so you get that really cool, see that? Um, that look to it, it looks beautiful on a plate. Um, but you can multicolor it, you can do red beets, gold beets, uh, if you, when they're in season, the rainbow beets. Um, yeah, you can much do anything. This is gonna be so colorful and beautiful. All right, now it's time to assemble. I'm gonna use like this color plate because I wanna show all the different colors. And you know me, I love colorful food. So, the dill that we had that was whole, I'm just gonna pinch it here at the stem and I'm gonna scatter this on the bottom of the plate. Just like that. Okay, because the dill's in our vinaigrette, so if you get a little dill with your feet, you're all good. Okay, so the stems, once they're pinched, you can totally disregard them. There you go, dill on the bottom, making a little bend. Now we're gonna fan out our feet. Just gonna shingle them around. Right on top. See the beets? They all went around. Now I'm gonna alternate the Supremes because of the color. I'm gonna put them kind of around and in between. Oh yeah. I focus for the wrong color. And I like to face them all the same way because I'm neurotic, but that's okay. We all got our issues. Um, if you have a couple extra, drop them wherever you can. Make it nice and even. All right, so you have extra? That's called a snack. Snack, get it? Feta, the same feta I buy the hard feta. It's gonna just, two fingers. Keep it in water in your fridge. Lasts for a long time. Sprinkling some feta over on top of this. Salad, it's all plated. If you want to plate it ahead of time at home, feel free. And then just when you go to the event, take your dressing, give it a good stir. And you just want to drizzle it right on top. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. You don't have to go crazy. Think about it. You use the natural juices. You plated it up beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. What a freaking salad. Mm. See? You can, you can get fancy. Yeah. That is beautiful. I love that we used to be a colorful plate. Look at that orange. You're gonna get the sweet from the fruit. And the beets are sweet too, even though they're savory. You're also gonna get the feta, that salt, and nice bite from the dill.